The movie begins with an ancient African village nestled in the heart of a lush, vibrant jungle. The camera pans over the villagers gathered around a bonfire at night. An elder with a warm and wise demeanor begins to tell the children a story passed down through generations. As she speaks, the scene transitions into a mystical animated world where the story unfolds. Anansi, a small yet clever spider, lives in a vast and magical forest. Known for his cunning, he is often called upon by the other animals to solve problems. However, Anansi is also mischievous, always looking for opportunities to outsmart others for his own gain. One day the animals learned that Nayami, the sky god, possesses a treasure trove of stories. Stories that are the source of all wisdom in the world. However, Nyame keeps these stories locked away, only accessible to those who can pay a hefty price. The animals long to hear these stories, but none can afford the price. Anansi, eager to prove his cleverness, approaches Nyame with a proposition if he can complete three impossible tasks, Niame must give him the stories to share with the world. Amused, Niame agrees. Task one, capture the fierce python. Anansi tricks the python into tying itself up by claiming that a rumor is spreading about which animal is the longest in the jungle. The python, eager to prove its length, allows Anansi to measure it, ultimately getting tied up in the process. Task two, capture the hornets. Anansi fills a calabash with water and pours it over a hornet's nest, convincing the hornets that it's raining. He offers them shelter in a gourd and as they enter, he seals it shut. Task three, capture the leopard. Anansi digs a pit and covers it with leaves. The leopard falls in and Anansi convinces the trapped leopard to tie itself up so he can help pull it out. Once tied, Anansi leaves the leopard trapped. With all three tasks completed, Anansi returns to Nyame, who is impressed but also slightly annoyed at being outwitted. True to his word, Nyame gives Anansi the stories, which were hidden inside a golden box. Anansi, now realizing the importance of wisdom over trickery, decides to share the stories with all the animals and the villagers. The forest comes alive with celebration as Anansi narrates the tales from the golden box. The animals and the villagers are enthralled. And Anansi is celebrated as a hero, not for his cunning tricks, but for bringing the gift of wisdom to the world. The movie returns to the elder in the village, finishing the tale of Anansi. The children, eyes wide with wonder, ask the elder if Anansi still tells stories today. The elder smiles, telling them that as long as there are stories to be told, Anansi will always be with them, spinning his webs of wisdom. The final shot shows a small spider weaving a web in the light of the fire, its shadow forming the shape of Anansi, reminding the viewers that stories live on in all of us. Animation. Vibrant, colorful animation with a strong influence from traditional African art and patterns. The animals and the forest are depicted with a magical realism style. Music, a mix of traditional African instruments like drums, kora, and mbira, with a whimsical, adventurous score that enhances the magical atmosphere of the story.
themes wisdom versus cunning the movie explores the idea that true wisdom comes from sharing knowledge not hoarding it the power of stories it emphasizes the importance of storytelling in preserving culture and passing down wisdom through generations message the short movie teaches that while cleverness and wit are valuable the greatest gift one can offer is the sharing of knowledge and stories which connect us all this short film would be both educational and entertaining perfect for a family audience while also highlighting the rich cultural heritage of african folklore Would you like to explore any specific scenes or characters in more detail?